Hey guys, today I'm going to be walking you through my layer setup for my PSD files I have before I import them into Live 2D. As you can see here, I've got a lot of different layers, and that's because in Live 2D, the models are separated into parts according to the way the uh, artwork is layered in Photoshop. So each part that you intend to move individually needs to be on its own layer. So for instance, the eye will be needed to be broken into layers such as the lashes, the lids, the colour of the eye and the iris itself, but I'll get into that a bit later. If you start with a flat image, you can use tools like the lasso tool to pull apart the image into the different parts. Um, if I just hide the head, I'll show you the body, you can see that mine's separated into things like the neck, chest, tail, back legs, etc. They just all need to be on different layers. So you have to think about the other parts layered on top of the part that you're currently working on. So for instance, the chest, I've put in a shadow of where the neck would sit. Because if the neck moves out of the way, you need it to continue to create this idea of 3D by having the shadow underneath. So you have to imagine the part as if the other parts weren't obstructing your view of the current part. Just like the tail here, I've gone a bit further along than what you can actually see in the drawing. So moving on to parts of the head, the eyes are the most complicated part that you will be doing. Um, like I said before, they are separated into the eyelashes, the eyelids, the colour, as in the eyeball, um, the pupils, and any eye glints you want to have. So I'm just going to hide the left one here, and then I'll show you the layers uh, from the bottom going up. So the lowest layer will be the eyeball. Just a circle will do, it doesn't need to be neat or anything because it will be hidden by the eyelids. So then on top of that, you're going to be needing to have a pupil. And you need it independent so you can move it around like this in Live 2D. And then I add some eye glints just because they suit my style. Um, so one of the most important parts is the eyelash. This needs to be just a plain line, solid line, um, which will then deform in Live 2D. And then to hide that unneeded part of the eyes, we need the two lids. Um, they need to match the back of the head. Without them, you'd be able to see the colour and uh, pupils of the eyeball just like that. The mouth is separated into three parts, the inside of the mouth, the chin, and the top of the mouth. You need to do it like this so the mouth will open easily without any gaps. If you go onto the Live 2D website, they've got detailed explanations of why you need to set it up this way, so check it out. Uh, but I would like to say that it is really important you get this part sorted because the more organised you are at this stage, the easier the next stage will be. And speaking of, in the next tutorial we'll be looking at importing the Photoshop file into Live2D and starting to set up some of the parameters. So see you then!